Thank you, moderator. My name is Mohamed Rabbani. I'm a representative of CAGE, which is an international advocacy organization based in the UK. It's well documented that Muslim minorities residing in the UK have been systematically targeted by sections of the media, political establishment, and far-right groups. Our research has shown that the rise of Islamophobia coincided with the UK's participation in the war on terror, a war that has seen the deaths of thousands of Muslims abroad and the creation of an arsenal of counter-terror laws to police Muslim minorities at home. Academics and lawyers have written extensively on the impact of these laws in enabling and normalizing suspicion against Muslims. It's this form of structural discrimination against Muslims that I want to draw your attention to today. Muslims' experience of Islamophobia takes place intensely under Schedule 7 border powers which operate across UK borders. Though it claims to protect national security, there is widespread and growing criticism of its draconian nature. Schedule 7 grants police the power to detain and interrogate without suspicion. You do not have the right to remain silent. DNA and fingerprints can be taken from you, and you can be detained for up to six hours. It's estimated over a million people have been impacted, 99.99% of whom are innocent. The law is discriminatory, Islamophobic, and it's an emergency power that should never have been normalized into law. It allows police officers to detain individuals based on their race and religion, so long as that's not the sole reason for the stop. Statistics show in one study that 88% of those stopped at a particular airport were Muslims. The UK Home Office has refused to release the data on religious profile. We call upon the UK government to release the data on religious profile to cooperate fully with any investigation led by an all parliamentary group on Islamophobia and to initiate steps to repeal Schedule 7. Thank you.